So, Andrew, as I mentioned in my two prior live shots, this continues to prove to be a very dynamic, evolving situation. I want to step out of the shot so you can see what we're looking at. You can see officers still surrounding this building just beyond Ardmore Street. We're on uh, South Braddock and Roslyn, or between Roslyn and Ardmore here in Swissvale. As I said before, we got here around 4.15 or so. We did see one individual being taken out in cuffs. Since then, uh, we saw several other people get taken out, three more of whom were in cuffs, one woman, two more men. You saw in our last live shot, actually, as we were coming on the air, officers were barking orders at those uh, individuals, telling them to uh, retreat, a step backwards with their hands over their head. They then get got on the ground and officers put cuffs on them. Right before we got on live uh, just now, we did see about five or six officers in tactical gear make their way into the building. They appeared to be holding semi-automatic weapons. Uh, we haven't heard or seen uh, any developments related to that since then, but they did appear to be coming from Roslyn Street. I want to move the camera real quick so you could see. Not really sure if you're going to be able to get a full picture of what we saw, but just down this block is where police were monitoring another scene uh, we believe to be related to whatever's happening here. There were several evidence markers on the ground, police tape, a cordoning off what appeared to be an auto sales store and an apartment building. Again, we're not sure what this stemmed from, but whatever it is, it merited the response uh, that we've seen, a pretty significant response by several law enforcement agencies, including Forest Hills Police and Swissvale Police and Port Authority. But you can still see that whatever's happening, uh, officers don't believe that it's fully resolved because they're still in uh, a defensive posture, holding their long guns uh, ready uh, to uh, respond to whatever happens. Again, four people detained, taken out in cuffs. Two other individuals we saw uh, were running with police, holding their hands, uh, presumably uh, getting to a, a safe place. Uh, we don't know uh, the identities of these individuals, obviously, because it's still too early and we don't know uh, what they may be uh, wanted for and uh, what charges may stem from this. Uh, of course, we're going to continue to monitor everything that's happening. Latest update, as far as I could see, you saw about five or six officers wearing tactical gear, vest shields, all of that walk into the building just beyond South Braddock and Ardmore. It's not clear uh, what they're doing, if they're trying to get any more uh, persons of interest out or saving anyone who may need uh, to be saved if they're in danger. We're going to uh, get back to you as soon as we learn more, uh, but we're going to stay right here uh, in addition to all the other uh, residents in this area who are, are clearly uh, transfixed by what has happened in Swissvale this afternoon. Several roads shut down. This has certainly uh, consumed the thoughts and energy of a lot of people who live around here. We're going to send it back to you guys.